Salvador Allende Socialist politician elected president of Chile in 1970 and overthrown by the military in 1973, he died during the military attack. Apollo 11 America's successful mission to the moon Chief Justice Earl Warren The man who said, separate is unequal, he also gave the majority vote, except at cases involving controversial issues, particularly civil rights and the rights of the accused. Richard Nixon Vice President under Eisenhower and 37th President of the United States, he ended the draft in. Stopped U.S. participation in Vietnam. During his term Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon, resigned as a result of the Watergate scandal. Tet Offensive 1968 National Liberation Front and North Vietnamese forces launched a huge attack on the Vietnamese near which was defeated after a month of fighting and many thousands of casualties major defeat for communism but Americans reacted sharply with declining approval of LBJ and more anti-war sentiment Vietnamization Pulled hundreds of thousands of troops out of Vietnam, plan was to get the South Vietnamese to fight for themselves. Laos and Cambodia bombing Nixon ordered bombing because of suspicion of communism, we're not at war with them in the President says nothing about it, gets leaked, psychiatrist's office broken into to discredit leaker. Kent State Ohio College were in anti-war protest got way out of hand, the NATL guard was called in and killed. Three students in indiscriminate fire of M1 rifles. Paris Peace Conference The great rulers and countries excluding Germany and Russia met in Versailles to negotiate the Repercussions of the war, such leaders included Lloyd George Woodrow Wilson, claiming Queen Italy. The Treaty of Versailles was made but not agreed to be signed and the conference proved. nineteen seventy two China trip an important step in formally normalizing relations between the United States and the People's Republic of China it marked the first time a US president had visited the PRC who at that time considered the US one of its staunchest foes nineteen seventy two moscow trip nineteen seventy two nixon goes to ussr to ease tensions salt i the first treaty between the united states and the union of soviet socialist republics resulting 
from the strategic arms limitation talks. Detente A relaxing or easing as of tension between rivals, relaxation of tensions between the United States and its two major communist rivals, the Soviet Union and China. Nixon Doctrine During the Vietnam War, the blank blank was created. It stated that the United States would honor its existing defense commitments, but in the future other countries would have to fight their own wars without support of American troops. Henry Kissinger United States diplomat who served under President Nixon and President Ford, Secretary of State Supported real politic, appointed by Nixon as his national secretary advisor, engaged shuttle. Inflation A general and progressive increase in prices. Wage and price freezes. Nixon's plan to deal with inflation Watergate 1972, Nixon feared law so he approved the commission to re-elect the president to spy on and espionage the Democrats, a security guard foiled an attempt to bug the Democratic National Committee. Headquarters, exposing the scandal, seemingly contained after the election Nixon was impeached and stepped down. Spiro Agnew Governor of Maryland who ran as vice president with Richard Nixon in 1968, he was known for his Tough stands against dissidents and black militants, he strongly supported Nixon's desire to stay in Vietnam. He was forced to resign in October 1973 after having been accused of accepting bribes or kickbacks from Maryland contractors while governor and vice president. Yom Kippur War Egypt and Syria attacked Israel in October 1973. Arab oil boycotts On October 20, 1973, Saudi Arabia announced it was imposing a total oil boycott against the United States in retaliation for its support of Israel during the October War, the action caused an economic earthquake around the world when suddenly Americans and others were forming long lines at gas stations and the greatest transfer of wealth in world history began, the price of gasoline soared. Briefly up tenfold, it was a devastating added cost for governments, corporations and families. OPEC and Organization of Countries formed in 1961 to agree on a common policy for the production and sale of petroleum, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Busing the transportation of public school students from areas where they live to schools in other areas too. 
Eliminate school segregation based on residential patterns. Betty Friedan 1960s wrote The Feminine Mystique, an account of housewives lives in which they subordinated their own aspirations to the needs of men. Bestseller was an inspiration for many women to join the women's rights movement. Ira A proposed amendment to the United States Constitution which was intended to guarantee that equal rights under any federal, state or local law could not be denied on account of sex. It failed to gain ratification before its deadline and although it has been reintroduced in every Congress since 1982, public attention to it is greatly diminished. Phyllis Schlafly 1970s, a new right activist that protested the women's rights acts and movements as defying tradition and natural gender division of labor, demonstrated conservative backlash against the 60s. Roe v. Wade Supreme Court declared abortion to be a private decision, right to abortion. Title IX No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in B. Denied the benefits of or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity. Receiving Federal Financial Assistance Cesar Chavez United States labor leader who organized farm workers, organized union farm workers, help Migratory farm workers gain better pay and working conditions Gerald Ford 38th President of the United States, born in Omaha, Nebraska, was adopted by his stepfather and renamed was a lieutenant commander in the Navy during World War II, the only man to be both VP and President without ever winning an election. Jimmy Carter President who stressed human rights because of the Soviet war in Afghanistan, he enacted an embargo on grain shipments to USSR and boycotted the 1980 Olympics in Moscow, 39th President of the United States. Stagflation A period of slow economic growth and high unemployment while prices rise. Helsinki Accords The final act of the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe held in Helsinki, Finland in December 1975 between the United States, Canada, the Soviet Union and the countries of Europe it was signed by 35 countries. Iranian Revolution 
the revolution that transformed Iran from a monarchy under Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi to an Islamic republic under Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. Shuttle diplomacy. Kissinger shuttled between Arabs and Israel to resolve conflict, effective results. EPA An independent federal agency established to coordinate programs aimed at reducing pollution in protecting the environment. Three Mile Island Nuclear nightmare in Pennsylvania power plant accident very close to reactor meltdown and nuclear disaster. Saltu The second treaty between the United States and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics resulting from the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, Second Strategic Arms Limitations Talks, a second treaty was signed on June 18, 1977 to cut back the weaponry of the U.S. and the USSR because it was getting too competitive. He set limits on the numbers of weapons produced not passed by the Senate as Retaliation for USSR's invasion of Afghanistan and later superseded by the START Treaty. Panama Canal Treaties Passed by President Carter, these called for the gradual return of the Panama Canal to the people and government of Panama. They provided for the transfer of canal ownership to Panama in 1999 and guaranteed its neutrality. Camp David Accords a peace treaty between Israel and Egypt where Egypt agreed to recognize the nation-state of Israel. Ayatollah Khomeini Shiite religious leader of Iran, led the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran and ordered the invasion of the U.S. Embassy. Hostage crisis Diplomatic crisis between Iran and the United States where 52 U.S. diplomats were held hostage for 444 days from November 4, 1979 to January 20, 1981 after a group of Islamist students took over the American Embassy in support of the Iranian Revolution. Russian Invasion of Afghanistan This event resulted from Russia attempting to re-establish a pro-communist government in a Middle Eastern country. Moscow Olympics Boycott Protest of the Soviet War in Afghanistan Election of 1980 Ronald Reagan won over Jimmy Carter because of the Iranian hostage crisis and America's stagflation. Affirmative Action A policy designed to redress past discrimination against women and minority groups through measures to improve their economic and educational opportunities. Now 
National Organization of Women, 1966, Betty Friedan First President Wanted Equal Employment Opportunity Commission Enforce Its Legal Mandate to End Sex Discrimination Gloria Steinem she and several other women founded Ms. Magazine in 1972. She decided to start the feminist magazine. After our previous editors continually rejected her stories about the women's movement. Moon Plaque here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, 80 we came in peace for all mankind. Betty Friedan The problem lay buried and spoken for many years in the minds of American women. Nixon and Staff, 1972. The problem area because the FBI is not under control. Dot, 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 their investigation is now leading into some productive areas because they've been able to trace the money through the bank. Dot, 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 and it goes in some directions we don't want it to go. Nixon, 1974. In the past few days, however, it has become evident to me that I no longer have a strong enough political base in the Congress to justify continuing that effort. London Daily Telegraph, 1974. For too long you have been beating your breasts in self-flagellation in the traumas over Watergate and Vietnam. Ford, 1975 It has been said that the United States is overextended, that we have too many commitments too far from home that we must examine what our truly vital interests are and shape our strategy to conform to them. Carter, 1982 I was often criticized here and abroad for aggravating other government leaders and straining international relations, 